All right, we got Harry and we have Natalie. And a uh, bit of a family thing here, eh? Yes. So you got yeah. Yeah. Natalie yeah. already come here. Nat's there. There's big Nat and his little Nat. Mm -hmm. And you're the father of Nat. Yeah, yeah. Not this Nat, the other Nat. Not a Nat. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of Nats. So, um, we just had a, a week of um, Western New South Wales Primary Health Network funded horse training. And it was for drought affected people, families in far western New South Wales. What do you think? I think it was bloody, I, well, it really opened my eyes, high up, and it was really brilliant. I just like the way, like, no tying horses down or being just all body language. It's mm. bloody, like, it's just unreal, and yeah, it took my took my ability and been around a lot of horses in my life and it's the first time I've sort of seen anything like this in my life. And this is the first time you saw horses coming in this week, eh? Hey? Yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, you, yeah, you, you go back to, mm. what, your yeah. earliest memories of being on a horse and around horses? Yeah, I've been, um, sort of, I sort of started off when I was a kid and all that stuff, like with my grandfather and all that stuff, then, then sort of went out on the stations and that work, like I've you know, been up around Queensland, Northern Territory, like you know, yep. most places, broke a few, broke a lot of horses in, but like I, I, in my opinion, I reckon it's sort of cruel the way I've been taught. Yep. I think, and um, the old way. Yeah, the old, the old style of way. I think, and sometime I thought I was a bit of know all, but yep. like, now I definitely know I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> think, it's yeah. it's strange because I mean uh, I don't even know, but maybe eighty percent of the world still trains a horse the old way. Um, they might have a softer way about it, but the whole concept of coming in and, you know, you've already been training for a lifetime, you think, oh, I don't think I'll pick much up in this, eh? Yeah, yeah. But, but then, boom. Yeah, no, she's a big boom, all right, I think. And actually, over the years, you know, you sort of watch like, some of the older, older blokes uh, being in sort of new, like the next generation down from that is, is um, different again. And... Um, yeah, and it's bloody like and now and now like you know like I'm up in my fifty odds and yep. it's completely different again like you know, yeah like they always say you're never too old to learn anything yeah. and I bloody learned a lot this week. How good would it be if we knew how to do this when we were kids, eh? Oh, it would make a lot of difference, I tell you. See, the sky's the limit, eh? Because yeah. you can just do so much in so little time, yeah. and the horse be a hundred yeah. times better. Look at that one we just put on the horse plate. Yeah, yeah. You know. Five days, mm -hmm. and she's laying under his legs yeah. yesterday, having a sleep and a yarn. And... Yeah, and I and I reckon it's even like yeah, you know, that's like even like you know, been around horses for a little while too, and and I know she hasn't got a mean bone in the body. She ain't she been mm. like the old style, and mm. you know, this is like you know what I've seen. Of it, it's really like you know, mm. really showed her something and mm. that disability, and it's good to see her. I hope she keeps on going on with it. Yeah. Oh, she has to. She's got the horse trainer hat now. Yeah. yeah. All right, so talking about that, Nat. Mm. Okay. Hey? Mm. What about that whole thing, you know? What about Who's, that? Who thought you could come in and get a raw horse and be riding around on it a day and a half later? Yeah, I hey? like it. It's great. Yeah? yeah? And why'd you pick the pretty one? Don't you like ugly horses? No. No. <laughs> More calmer, and she's pregnant. Yeah, she's a nice looking girl, though. Yeah, you get a package deal, one for one. Well, two for one. <laughs> and you could have had that other little black one there, too, but... Oh, yeah, times are tough, I know. Grass is short. And, um, yeah, I mean, uh, so the full experience. I mean, uh, you go away from here with a uh, hat. No, you haven't got your DVD yet. So you've got to get the DVD, a hat... And uh, you've had five days of food. What was the food like? Good. Yeah. <laughs> Too good. Yeah. <laughs> Too good. No, really, really nice, and everything was nice and comfy, and, mm. and the people were amazed. Like, yeah, just, yeah, you know, just, I actually don't even feel like going home this morning. Mm. I think she's just so relaxing out here. That's it. I mean, what do you reckon about it? Yeah. Well, that was to speak to mine, yeah. <laughs> don't talk, talk to your boots, talk to me. Talk, talk to the female. So, look, we had a lot of people come and going through the week, which was, you know, I, I feel sad for them because they couldn't spend more time here, but yeah. we're open five days of the week for people to come and go. Yeah. 
and uh, some of the people, you know, we don't film because of privacy reasons, but um, how good was it to watch those fellas change? Well, I, well, the Haxie, one young bloke, I was pretty amazed with one young fella. Yep. Like, and he sort of, like, you know, he sort of, like, you know, up on his head just, I think, and be, before the end of the four days was over, yeah, he just so relaxed and yeah. I don't even think he wanted to go home. Right? No, he didn't. So, like, <laughs> I was really, really liking it. But, yeah. Yeah, so it's, it, it does change people. Yeah. Right? And, and I actually tell you the truth, I think it's changed Natalie a lot. Like, instead yep. of her watching my old boring ways, yep. I think it's, it's pretty good. Right? Yep. I think, and, you know, the staff you got is pretty good, especially with kids and that's really yep. good. Yep. I think. And I just hope I can keep on tenure, get something to work out to go back to home with it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, good. And what do you say to them in Indy? Mindy, yeah. We're coming there. Not this week, the week after. What do you say to anybody sitting in Menindi? Oh, I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll guarantee them, and, and, and I just hope they get the enjoyment out of it, what, that's what we did. Yeah. You know, it's pretty good, like, you know, and, I, and there is a lot of, like, you know, there is a lot of, you know, like, you know, even have ridden kids down there, they're just sort of starting off, and, and I think they be filled, you know, like, you know yeah. something like this, and, the, and people just don't realise how good, the, like, the horse life, how good it is. Yeah. Really. And do you need to know anything about horses to get the benefit out of it? Well, I've well I've been here for a thing, and I've seen a couple of people like you know never knew nothing about horses, no. and they went away from here with like you know good knowledge. So yeah, really good knowledge. Yeah, really. and uh, the big fellow that come in and hooked yeah. into Big Sarge the other day. Yeah, yeah. He was just like, whoa. Well, even he was saying they're relaxing that he is just to be around horses. And, yeah, and I think that's the, like I know that for a fact. Like you know, horses do relax you as good as a yeah. But this is good as an old dog. I yeah. Mean, I think your horse can, well, this here, it makes your um, horse more, more your mate than whatever. Yeah, it does, eh? Hey? Yeah. I always say, try and put it into words. And one day a woman said, it's like giving birth to your child. Yeah. You know, and it's like, wow. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the connection that you had there. And, you know, yeah. look at this silly E or in the yeah. unit over here now. Yeah. Wherever Nat went, it's yeah. trying to crawl through the fence or it's yeah. trying to get two inches yeah. closer to her and... She sits there on the ground and she stands there and gives her shade and mm. oh, it's crazy stuff. You got something to say or? Hmm? No. Let me try to, to speak to my mate. Yeah, yeah. That's what it's all about. Let them know what you say. All the good stuff. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, what was the scariest part for your week? Mm -hmm. Um, sliding off her bum. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what's the most exciting part of the week? Sliding off her bum. Bonding with her. Bonding with her. Yeah. When? What day do you think you bonded with her? Yeah, yesterday. You don't think you bonded with her on the first day? Yeah, I did, but it got stronger. It's nothing like yesterday. I mean, you're just Not about changing yeah. spit and yeah. licking each other and all sorts of stuff yesterday, <laughs> eh? <laughs> <laughs> and so, when when do you turn 13? Next year, April. There you go, see? It's not too bad, eh? Yeah. I designed this for a four and a half year old boy to do it, so... If he can, a boy, a younger boy can do it, then surely a 12-year-old girl can, hey. Yeah. And, um, yeah, so even those fellas in Menindi, uh, we're coming your way, even an hour in front of the horse or half an hour, yeah. going to change your, change pick, give you a good pick-up, hey. Yeah. Look at those blokes that come through here this week. Yeah. Like, yeah, they're a bit tense and then they're all just, yeah. yeah. Like you Please. say, the first day is harder. Like you, mm. you, don't, you just don't know what to expect, and yeah. the second day you just that like you know just that relax. Nat like Nat done most of the work, and mm. I sort of sat back and roll smokes. Roll smokes. <laughs> like, like, there's, like there's a bushfire going on. <laughs> but for as she can do it, yeah. No, well actually, I wouldn't mind having a like even just a good crack on my own would be yeah. pretty good. But just the enjoyment I got to see out of Natalie, like you know, with yeah, with a twelve year old girl, and yep. And I reckon, I'll guarantee, I reckon anyone can do it. Mm. So, yeah. so it's fair to say you bikes come in as a unit? Yeah, yeah. And uh, train the horse together, yeah, so yeah. hence because Nat was so young, yeah. she I, had to have a guardian. Yeah, and I taught, like, I even, yeah, taught her, you know, like I wanted to go, like, you know, just to, like, keep an eye on her. And I, like, mm. I knew she had it in her. Yeah, no, well, you have to do that because yeah, of just, the way uh, we're set up. Yeah, yeah. Um, I had a good question then. Something about something. Mm. You did your scariest bit, you did your happiest bit, yeah. you did your bonding bit. Mm. And um, oh, I was going to say, the young fella come to me yesterday and he said, um, he was worried he's going to come here and 
it'd be all full of cowboys, fellas who knew everything about horses and big flash words about horses and mm. blah, blah, blah. And I said, did you see that? He said, no way. Mm. <laughs> yes. But about crack, like, like you say, like I've had a few, like my thing too, actually I had a young bloke from Adelaide, straight out of Adelaide, and I was mucking around with, like my horse.